Peace and blessings to all my emperors and empresses, all you regal people. Thank you for coming to my channel again. As you can see from the title, it's going to be about why you should be embracing your short to medium uh, Nazi dreadlocks. Okay, first, if you, you're here for the first time or if you've been here for a while and have not subscribed, I want you to go ahead and take a minute out right now and hit that subscribe button along with the bell next to it so that you will receive any notifications of videos that I may do, any live chats or what have you. Um, okay, let's, let's just jump right into it. Also, um, make sure if you like the video, thumbs up the video leave comments, um, just interact, you know, back and forth with me, you know, and that way I can tell what you like and what you don't like, you know, as far as videos. All right. Um, I have a little list written out and uh, here we go. This is, um, the top five reasons you should be, uh, embracing your short to medium Nazi dreads. Okay. And that's just what I choose to call them. If you've been on my channel for a while, you already know that. Hoping the lighting is good. Hoping the sound is good. If I sound a little uh, congestion, congested or so, I have a respiratory infection right now. But let's go with... Let me see, should I start from the bottom? or They are pretty mixed up, so... Obviously, I do not have short dreads. I mean, everybody that's been on my channel for a while or those that are new to the channel, you could just look at me right now and tell that I do not obviously have short um, Nazi dreads. But I did. I started off, you know, just like everybody else, um, with short, shorter, much way shorter uh, Nazi dreads. And these are some of my top five reasons why... I, you know, totally embraced when my every part of my journey, basically, but when they were shorter and just getting started. And maybe this will help somebody that's just getting started because so many times I hear people say, oh, I can't wait till I get out of this stage, or I can't wait till my hair get as long as yours, or I can't wait to, and I'm just like, here are some of the things that you should be grateful for and, and totally embracing with having shorter dreads. First of all, you're going to spend a lot less time with uh, cleansing, you know, whether it's water rinsing, ACV rinsing, or if, you know, you use products, you're going to spend a lot less time with, with cleansing, you know, and also drying, you know, your hair take way less time drying. You can go outside, sit in the sun for an hour or so, and your hair is, is dry. An hour or two or you know give or take <clears throat> um that's one that's one of the top one um things that i i really liked about when my hair was um shorter and even in the winter time if you have to use a diffuser with a dryer or whatever or sit under a dryer it's less um time that you have to spend get, um getting your hair to dry number two and this is going to be just short. This is just something fun. And then also, like I said, to help anybody that's, you know, oh, I can't wait, to, you know, tripping on their hair getting long. Uh, it's easier to find protective coverings and um, artsy caps to wear. Until I found the King J, which I, I, I found and I used my own money to buy. I'm not sponsored by them by no means. It's just I like their product. And, you know, until I found them, it was very hard for me to find something. I used to wear just like a satin pillowcase turned inside out. And I would, that's how I would protect my hair. But when it was shorter, it was easier to find like, you know, protective coverings. But now King J or King James, I'm not sure, uh, <clears throat> totally. Sometimes I get it mixed up, whether it's King J or King James. And then Magic also has, I just found that they have like some caps too. Um, so it's easy. And then to find like cute artsy um, type hats and stuff, you know, which of course you wear protective covering under those too. Um, but it's easier to find, you know, stuff. Some, some summer caps though, you don't have to worry about so much. 
um, as far as wearing protective covering under, because it depends on, like, if it's a visor type thing or so, um, you know, your hair can just stick straight up out of that. That was another thing. Uh, number three, embrace the way that they can stand up on your head when they're just doing their own thing. That was one of the things that I really, really, really loved. I love the way when my hair was shorter, certain areas, it would just be like, you know, just standing up like little antennas, just just doing this thing. Or, you know, when I would move a certain kind of way or whatever, you know, my hair would just be, you know, just... It was just doing its own thing, which it still does. It's just that with it being longer and um, heavier, it's not moving around as much. I mean, it just, you know, it just hangs down a little bit. Now, I don't get it twisted. I still like it being long. I like every part of my journey. But, you know, just embrace embrace the way that you, you can get the hairstyles where, you know, you can put on a visor and your hair is standing up. I think that is just an awesome uh, look. Okay, number four, people are less prone to wanting to touch your hair or ask crazy questions like, is that your hair? Is that your real hair? Um, that's one of the things that when your hair grows longer that you have to deal with. People are always like, well, um, the first question is, how many years? How many? How long has... has how many years has it taken your hair to grow that long or whatever? Not that that's a crazy question, but that's a question I get constantly asked all the time, all the time by people that don't even have Nazi dreadlocks or whatever. Um, but people are less prone to wanting to like reach out and touch. You know, I did have an incident where somebody did that and she almost caught a reflex because she just literally, literally just grabbed like a whole handful of my hair and flipped it up and was like, now that's what I'm talking about. And I'm like, really? Let me stop scrunching my face up. I say wrinkles. Um, I'm like, really? So I think that when my hair was shorter, people were less prone to um, bothering it, except for the fact that my ends were blonde and, you know, it looked real unique. It looked real different. And you know, a couple people, you know, kind of wanted to, you know, reach out and touch, but I'm real standoffish when it comes down to that. Don't, I didn't like people touching my hair when I didn't have Nazi dreadlocks, when I just had, you know, my, my, um, bobs or my, my short hair or what have you. Okay. And number five, um, you're not worried about, and this is something I always talk about with having longer um, Nazi dreads. You're not so worried about slamming your hair in doors or, or sitting on them. Um, that's something that I experience all the time. Just went to the movies uh, the other day, and sure enough, you know, I was reclining back in the seat, and it was like my hair was caught, you know, on the sides, you know, because I'm sitting on my hair, and I'm just, like, stuck. I was like, oh, my God. You know, um, embrace all of the journey. You know, if you're just starting off, embrace the fact that, you know, that you're going to go through many, 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 many different phases over and over and over again. And having short Nazis, there is nothing wrong with it. I mean, we all have been short. A lot of people on here may be just starting, but a lot, uh, it's a lot of people on my channel too that, um, have been rocking Nazi dreads for a long time, some way even longer than me, which is, what, 15, a little bit over 15 and a half years for me. Uh, but there's some people with over 20 years or whatever. So um, comment down below if you have short Nazis, Nazi dreadlocks and you're enjoying the process. Comment down below if, you know, you could think back to when your hair was short, some of the things that you did like about, you know, them being short or whatever, because I'm sure, I mean, there's, there's, I could name so many more, but I wanted to keep the video just, you know, short and fun, short and fun, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, but, um, yeah, short and fun, but yeah, comment down below if you've been on your journey for a long time. What did you really like about like when your hair was shorter and, you know, you were just starting up the whole little process or what have you? Or, um, you know, comment if you, again, are, are going through the short phase and there are things that you don't like about going through the short phase or, 
you know, or the stuff that you do like, you know, this was just like, again, um, I've done so, so many videos on everything that I just wanted to, you know, throw in something. I rarely talk about shorter dress. I talk about when my hair was shorter sometimes, but I rarely talk about like all the things that I really like about you know, um, having shorter dreads. So if anybody is struggling with, with the, with the process and, you know, the whole thing, just know that, um, some people even like, I mean, some people won't even let their hair grow long. Uh, they prefer to wear it shorter. I mean, you know, and you know, the side shaved or, or what have you, some people are just totally into just having, having it shorter. I mean, that's not some, I'm not into cutting, hair or anything like that so that's just you know i'm not doing it for a style this is definitely a lifestyle for me but you know just um thumbs up if you like these little short mini videos um also um if you if you're enjoying you know uh the whole process of of being a nazi dreadlock uh i'll be back with another video probably tomorrow uh, Easter is Sunday. I'm still planning on doing my live chat at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Savings Time. Hopefully, you know, there's some people that can make it because I'll be at home. I'm not doing anything uh, except for, you know, my video. Um, my child is not into Easter baskets and, and stuff like that. So, <laughs> you know, we would just be at home and we know we're not having a big Easter feast that dinner or anything like that. It's just, you know, that's a whole nother story. We just, we just kind of chill and relax on, on Easter Sunday or just any Sunday period. All right. So thank you all for tuning in again. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. If you've been watching my channel for a long time and haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And, um, Hit the bell so you you'll know when I do uploads. And again, I, periodically I'll I'll dive in and do like a a live chat in the middle of the day um, or so. And I want you to be able to see that. So thank you so much, you all who have been supporting me. Um, the t-shirts. I just want to give an update on that. Um, the t-shirts. I've been trying to rock with somebody that travels on the road a lot, a truck driver that actually does great work. And <clears throat> it's just that they're gone all the time. And when I'm hot on something, I like to get things done like immediately, you know, and I have a, a Teespring store with a whole bunch of um, apparel that I've put in it already with the new, with the design. So I'm not going to expose yet. Um, the name of the store, but know that I'll, I'll be putting out a video telling you how you can get a hold to some of the, um, apparel. So once I get my t-shirt from their store, <laughs> I need to get my stuff, you know, some of the things that, that I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have mugs, I'm going to have, uh, blankets, I'm going to have pillows, I'm going to have, uh, all different types of things. So it's not going to just be t-shirts. It's going to be a lot of stuff, a lot of different um, things that you can buy that I designed and somebody, you know, just went in and did what I asked them to do as far as my design. I came up with the silhouettes and everything and, you know, they just did what I, I wanted done. So it's not, it's going to be words on the shirt just to give out a little hint. It's going to be words on the shirt, of course. Um, but just not just something basic or so, you know, it's, 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 it's really nice. So I'm going to end this video with that and just know that I love you all. And I hope I see some of you all Sunday. If not, I'll see you the, the Sunday after Easter Sunday, because again, I know people are preparing dinners or doing what they do. All right. Peace and love. To all my emperors, my empresses, stay regal, stay in the light.